Hey guys, welcome back to our tutorial. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine. I hope you're enjoying the festive season. Um, so we're back to our list. Okay, last class we talked about um the heads, the body. Talked about the headers. H1 to H6 talked about our uh, rules, horizontal rules. We talked about our paragraph. We use the bold tag, we use the strong tag. Okay. And I explained the HTML structure to you. So if you haven't watched that, please watch that. Just go to the list and then see that. I might put it up in the description, I'm not sure, but you know, just in case I don't. Okay, so today we're going to talk about lists. Okay, we are going to be talking about lists now. What are lists? List is basically, as I just said, it it's a list, right? So it could be a list of things, list of different things. Okay, so what is a list? A list is basically a collection of items, right? A collection of um, type items variable characters right so i can have a list of to do's like things i want to do right okay what am i going to do today okay when i wake up in the morning i'm going to pray first you know or i'm going to have a bath or something right okay i'm going to the market or i'm going to do shopping right i want to make sure i don't forget anything i'm going to have a list of items i want to buy tomatoes ketchup um what are the other things you buy at the market? Meat, right? Fish and all of that, right? Or you're working in a in a company, you have tasks that you need to do, right? You want to have a list of the tasks so that you don't forget anything or so you can do them sequentially or something, right? So those are, that is what a list is. You now make a list. It's quite self-explanatory. So that's what a list is. Okay, so how do you write a list? Like I told you, most HTML tags are written by using their first two letters or the first two words of it to describe it, right? So if you say list, how do you write a list? How do you let your browser know that this is supposed to be a list? So it's quite simple. List is L-I-S-T. So you just say L-I. So this is a list. Now, a list has an opening tag and also a closing tag. Sorry. And also a closing tag. Uh, right so this is your list this is how you write your list so i can write something in here and say water for example okay so now let's see that water so i have to save this first so let's see that water you can see it. hold on um so you can see it's water okay now your browser doesn't understand. Remember, I told okay, I haven't told you. There are two types of lists. There are two major type of lists, right? And then you have a third one. So stick around to the end of the video to find out that third type of list. Okay, so there are two major type of lists, which is the ordered list and the unordered list. Now your browser doesn't know what type of list this is, right? So by default, it just made it an unordered list. That's why you have this bullet point here. Okay. So if I come here again, I give it another and give it a I write another list and say after water, what do you have? You have um I don't know. Who well, first of all have to define the type of list we want, right? So let's say let's use a hashtag. Okay. So let's say hash two. And let's say we want to say um what do you want to write? Food stuff. Let's say food stuff. That's how they write food stuff. Food stuff, yeah? Okay, so let's change this one now. We're not, are we getting water? Okay, let's say we're getting water for part of the food stuff. We want to get fish, right? Or, uh, yeah, let's put fish first, okay? So let's see now. I right, first this is quite big now. 
So you see now we have fish and we have uh, water. Okay. So by default, how lists work is that they stack on top of each other. It's kind of like having a display block. So that's how lists work. But well, you can use your CSS and make it horizontal. Okay, but we're not in CSS yet, so we're just going to stick with this one. All right, so this is how they work. They stack on top of each other. But your browser still doesn't know what type of list this is. So that this takes us to the two types of list. Sorry. Um, I think I told you last time how to two types of list. Two type of list. Okay, this is how you comment out. Remember, I told you the last time. So, two types of lists you have. Okay, let me just say write it in here. You have the um, you have the ordered list, ordered list, and then you have the unordered list. Okay. So these are the two type of list you have. Um, these are the two type of list you have. So now, how do we write? How do we let the browser know what kind of list we want to do? Are we doing an ordered list or an unordered list? Okay. So first of all, we want to do an ordered list. I'm sure if you guess, if you think about it, you can guess it. So we want to do an unordered list. We want to do an ordered list. Sorry. You write O and sorry, no ordered list. So this is how you do it, right? So now your browser knows that this is an this is an ordered list. Oh well, so this is how you write it. So I always like to indent, you know, it helps the code to be read more easily. So this is how you write your ordered list by using O L. So if I save this now, open it in my browser, and refresh, you see it has changed from a bullet point into one two. Right, so this is how your browser now knows that this is the ordered list because it's ordering it as it's coming in. So it says it tells you that okay, this is number one, this is number two, you know, it orders them for you. So if we go ahead now and have and write more items, right? I'm just gonna write some things here. Um let's say we want to get grocery. I hope that's a spelling of grocery. And we want to get um I think grocery usually covers everything. So let's say we want to buy face cream. For some reason we decided to buy face cream because we don't want our face to be really fine and shining. And then we need some new batteries for something. I don't know. So let's say we need battery. Okay. What else do we need? We need a laptop <laughs> for some reason. We are going to find no. Okay, no, that doesn't make no battery. Let's say um we need a toothbrush. Okay. So we need a toothbrush. Um, yeah, so this should now just be shopping list instead of that. So we just have shopping list here. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we need these items, right, in our ordered list. So we'll come here and look at it now and refresh. You see now it orders it, it orders it for us. Um let's see. It orders it for us. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. So these are the items we want to get. Okay, so let's now say we want to now. I want to show you the difference now between ordered list and unordered list. Okay, so I copy this. I want to put a horizontal rule here to just demarcate it. So I'm going to be using over time. You notice I'll be using some of the things I've taught you before, so just so that you can better um, recap and understand how you use them. So I want to use that horizontal rule. Then now I'm going to change this. This one here, okay. So this, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now UL is our unordered list. UL unordered list. Okay. So now let's see the difference in the ordered list. I'm sure you should already know the difference though. So you see now this is our unordered list. So this one follows. This one here follows no particular order. Okay. You see it has bullet point, not numbers. This one is itemized out. We have number one, number two, number three. So this is the ordered list. It follows an order. This one is not ordered. So it just gives you a bullet point. Okay. 
So that's how you do the other list. It's quite simple, right? Just tell your browser the type of list you want and then use the put the list inside of it. All right. So if you stayed this long, uh, congrats. Let's see the <laughs> last type of uh, list. I personally don't use it. I don't really think people use it much, but it's called the description list or descriptive list or something, right? So I'm just going to I'll pause the video and I'll, I'll just type it out so it's faster. Okay. Okay. So this is it. So let me put these guys in. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So this is our, our another list. Another so sorry, these are description lists or descriptive lists, uh, how, how you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to explain what this is. DL simply means uh, it defines the description list. Like it tells, just like your UL tells your browser that is an unordered list, your OL tells your browser that is an ordered list, the DL tells your browser that this is a descriptive list or a description list. Okay, so your browser knows. Then the DT is kind of like your allies, right? So the detail tells your browser that, you know what? This is a term that I want you to describe. This is a list though, but this is what I want to describe. This is a term. So basically, it defines a term in a description list. You understand? It defines a term in your description list. That's what, that's what the DT means. Don't worry, when we look at it in the browser, you see it will make sense when we check out the browser. Then your DD means it, des it describes a term in a description list. So in other words, this is the item in your list, right? This one here. Then this, your DD describes what is here. Okay, let me change this now from coffee to order mat. I'm sure it will make sense to some people. What am I? All right. So your description will be like, let's say this na advanced math so omo omo na be you know something like this uh then you say milk now let's say now uh, from cow we the get um you know something like that so it describes your item in the list Okay, so that's your description list. So if we look at it in the browser now, you see that. Okay, wait, hold on. There's something. What's going on? You can shift, which I don't want it to shift. I'm wondering why it's shifting. Okay. It's scattered for some reason. Why is it at uh, this is the euro no? It's not supposed to be this way. But you know what? I'm gonna put it at the top and let's see. Maybe this is how it's right. Like I said, I don't use I don't use this um this type of list. I've actually never used it. <laughs> and all the while I've been coding, I've actually never used it. So I'm just gonna see how um sorry. Just gonna see how it writes it and um Hopefully there's not too much um, issues with it. Okay. This is the description of this one. Okay, so it's at the top. So that means there's there was something causing it to misbehave before. Okay. Uh, so let me just take this. Okay, it's fine like this, I think. So I don't really need to. Just gonna play the horizontal. Yeah. All right. So this is our list. You have the description list here. So this is the further mass. Now this is the DD. So not yeah DT. Where is it? Further mass. So this is the DT. That's the description. Description term. Right. So this is the description term. So this one, this DD is, I don't know how you want to call it. 
But basically, now they describe the description. <laughs> it tells you more about what was described here, what was listed here. I don't know the term you want to use in calling it. Okay, so this is it. I almost never use this. I've never actually used this. I just use two of these. This is what we actually use. Okay, so this is it. This is your description. As we walk, as we go on, we are going to use it. You're going to see it in action. I'm going to show you more about it. Okay. All right. So thank you for watching. I hope you like this one. Um. So I hope you like this one. I'll see you in the next one. Ian, please like and subscribe and also share it. And if you don't like it, please still like and subscribe. Thank you very much. I've been Ola from Orion Tech, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.